In this video, I go through the rules for adding one or two stories using class AA of Permitted Development. This is video number seven in a series of videos that started with video number one, covering eligibility for Permitted Development. It's recommended that you watch video number one before you watch this one. This video has three sections. Exclusions looking at which houses are excluded from eligibility for additional stories. Limits, examining the detail of what can actually be built. And conditions, looking mostly at how to engage with the planning authority. Starting with exclusions. You cannot build additional stories on a house if any of the following exclusions apply. A change of use has been granted. The house is on Article 2.3 land or on SSSI land. The house is listed. The house must be constructed between 1st of July 1948 and 28th of October 2018. The onus of proof regarding the actual date of construction lies with yourself, not with the council. And you need to prove that the entire structure was built in this period, not just part of the structure. If the original house has been previously extended upwards using class A or otherwise, the additional storage benefit is not available. Where a single storey extension already exists, you can't use the additional storage provision to raise it upwards. However, it might be possible to do this under PD rules if it is a rear extension. Check out video 3 on rear extensions. The building must not contain a flat. Note that part 20 of the PD order allows for new flats on properties that are not a dwelling house. Turning to limits. There are limits regarding the number of stories that you can build. One additional storey is allowed for a single storey house and two additional storeys are allowed for houses with two or more storeys. For a detached house, the roof ridge can be raised a maximum of 3.5 metres for an existing one storey building and 7 metres for an existing multi-storey building. For a semi-detached house, the roof ridge can be raised a maximum of 3.5 metres above the highest part of the neighbouring building. For an existing one storey house, you can go up one storey. If your neighbour has already raised their house, then you can go up one storey. For an existing multi storey semi detached house, you can go up one storey. In this case, from two to three storeys. If your neighbour has already added another storey, you have a choice of adding one storey or two storeys. For a terraced house, the roof ridge can be raised a maximum of 3.5 metres above the highest part of the terrace. For an existing one storey house, you can go up one storey. If your neighbour has already raised their house, then you can go up one storey. For an existing multi-storey terraced house, you can go up one storey, in this case from two to three storeys. If your neighbour has already added another storey, you have a choice of adding one storey or two storeys. The overall height limit is 18 metres, which in practice limits the building to just four storeys. Assuming 3.5 metres per storey and 3 metres for a pitched roof, adding two storeys to an existing two-storey house results in a total height of 17 metres. The same height is achieved by adding one storey to an existing three-storey house. If the same house has a flat roof with a depth of a half a metre, the overall maximum height achievable is 18 metres. This is achieved by adding two storeys to a three-storey house, 
or by adding one storey to a four storey house. The floor to ceiling height for an additional storey must be the lower of three metres or the floor to ceiling height of any existing storey. Any additional storey can only be built onto the principal part of the house. This means the main part of the house, excluding any front, side or rear extension of a lower height, whether this forms part of the original house or is a subsequent addition. Only the topmost storey of the house can be built on when constructing an additional storey. Existing accommodation within the roof of a house is not considered to be a storey or a topmost storey. We're about three quarters of the way through this video and if you're finding it useful, I'd appreciate you clicking on the thumbs up or subscribe buttons below. And please don't hesitate to ask a question or make a suggestion in the comments. The roof pitch of the additional storey must be identical to the existing roof pitch. You cannot build an additional storey with a pitched roof if there was previously a flat roof. The development must not include a window in any wall or roof slope forming a side elevation of the house. The materials in the development must be of a similar appearance to the rest of the house. There must be no visible support structure on the exterior of the house upon completion of the development. Any external works added to strengthen existing walls or foundations must not be outside the curtilage of the house. Looking now at conditions, you will need to complete the development within three years and it must then be used as part of a C3 dwelling house or ancillary to the primary use as a dwelling house. You will require prior approval from the planning authority who will consider its external appearance. Note that an appeal decision in 2021 has clarified the extent to which councils can make visual assessments. They only have the power to judge the appearance of the house as it looks itself. They cannot examine the development in context with the surrounding area. The planning authority will also consider the impact on adjoining property and on any protected views. That's it for this video, and that was the last one of the series. If you have suggestions for other videos, or even a completely new series, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.